China just pulled the trigger on the future of warfare. Autonomous killer robots, drone swarms, and AI-powered machines that could change battlefields forever. From AI-powered drone motherships deploying autonomous swarms to coordinated packs of robotic wolves hunting in unison, China is building a terrifying new breed of intelligent war machines. So, how close are we to a fully autonomous robot war? And could this be the end of traditional combat as we know it? Let's find out. China is preparing to deploy one of the most advanced aerial warfare systems ever conceived, the Zhu Tian, an unmanned mothership built to launch and coordinate swarms of AI-powered drones deep behind enemy lines. These aren't ordinary drones. Each unit within the swarm operates as part of an intelligent, adaptable network capable of autonomous decision-making and synchronized attacks. At the heart of the system is a sophisticated hive mind AI that allows up to 100 drones to communicate, adapt, and shift strategy mid-mission. Whether performing reconnaissance, jamming enemy communications, or targeting key infrastructure, each drone contributes to a coordinated onslaught that overwhelms traditional defenses through speed, numbers, and unpredictability. During simulated drills, these swarms have demonstrated the ability to confuse enemy radars with decoys, disrupt signals with electronic warfare units, and destroy air defenses using kamikaze drones, all in a single wave. The effect isn't brute force, but calculated saturation. Multiple threats approaching from all directions, changing behavior based on what the swarm detects in real time. The Zhu Tian operates from high altitudes, reaching 15 kilometers above ground, far beyond the reach of many air defense systems. From there, it can release drones across a 3,500-kilometer radius, covering contested areas like the Taiwan Strait or the South China Sea with precision strikes and real-time surveillance. One of the most alarming features is the platform's autonomous engagement capability. Swarms can be pre-programmed to recognize specific target signatures, such as naval radar arrays or the layout of an airbase, and attack without direct human command. This raises serious questions about escalation and accountability in future conflicts. Military analysts see the Zhu Tian not just as a drone carrier, but as a strategic shift in how wars might be fought, replacing human pilots and centralized control with decentralized, self-directed drone networks. If fielded successfully, this AI-driven swarm system could mark the beginning of a new era in aerial warfare, where the sky is filled with fast, coordinated, machine-led attacks that few modern defenses are prepared to stop. Now, in the high-altitude battlefields of the Himalayas, or the rugged terrain of the South China Sea Islands, traditional logistics chains break down. This is where China's robotic yak comes into play a four-legged unmanned ground vehicle that combines brute strength with sophisticated autonomy to revolutionize military resupply operations. The mechanical yak's design draws inspiration from its biological namesake, optimized for carrying heavy loads across impossible terrain. Its titanium alloy frame supports an 800 kilos base weight while maintaining a 160 kilos payload capacity enough for four crates of 5.8 mm ammunition, two anti-tank missiles, or critical medical supplies for a forward operating base. The 12 independent sensor modules provide 360-degree situational awareness, including thermal imaging for night operations and millimeter wave radar for penetrating dust or smoke. Power comes from a hybrid diesel electric system that delivers 72 hours of continuous operation. The diesel generator charges lithium titanate batteries that power four hydraulic actuators in each leg, generating enough torque to climb 35-degree slopes or step over 1.2-meter obstacles. In controlled tests, the Yak maintained 85% operational availability in temperatures ranging from minus 30 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius, a critical capability for operations across China's diverse geographic challenges. The true genius of the Yak lies in its autonomous navigation system. Using simultaneous localization and mapping, SLAM algorithms, it can traverse uncharted terrain without GPS guidance, a necessity in electronic warfare environments. During a 2024 demonstration in Tibet, a Yak convoy successfully navigated 28 kilometers of unmarked glacial terrain 
at 4,800 meters elevation, delivering supplies to a simulated, forward base with zero human intervention. While currently deployed primarily for logistics, the platform's modular design invites weaponization. The same load-bearing architecture that carries supplies could mount light machine guns, anti-drone microwave emitters, or reconnaissance packages. PLA documents reference future variants equipped with jamming systems to create mobile electronic warfare nodes, or even specialized models carrying mine-clearing line charges for breaching operations. What sets the Yak apart from Western counterparts is its doctrinal integration. Chinese military strategists envision these systems operating in coordinated packs, some carrying supplies, others armed with weapons, and a third group equipped with sensors to form a mobile reconnaissance network. This multi-role approach transforms what might seem like a simple robotic mule into a versatile force multiplier that extends the reach and endurance of frontline units while reducing exposure of human personnel. Next, China shocked the world by unveiling its latest military tech, robot dogs armed with machine guns. Revealed during a joint training exercise with Cambodia, the battery-powered quadrupeds were showcased in a video by state broadcaster CCTV demonstrating their ability to move, lie down, jump, avoid obstacles, and plan routes. These robot dogs, supplied by Chinese robotics firm Unitree, probably the Go One model, can operate autonomously for two to four hours and are designed for urban combat, where they could replace human soldiers in roles like target identification and assault. One model was seen firing a rifle, highlighting its offensive capability. Chinese soldier Chen Wei confirmed the bots will serve as a new member in urban combat operations, capable of engaging enemies while keeping troops out of harm's way. This chilling innovation in unmanned combat pushes urban warfare into dystopian territory. Another quadrupedal robot named Doggo, weighing about 45 kilos, is compact enough to be drone dropped onto rooftops or behind enemy lines, unfolding into attack mode with unsettling precision. Doggo carries a QBB-97 bullpup machine gun chambered in China's proprietary 5.8 by 42 mm cartridge, capable of 650 rounds per minute with an effective range of 400 meters. The deployment method shows the platform's tactical value. Small enough for mid-sized cargo drones, the units can reach areas inaccessible to human troops. Once dropped, their stabilization systems ensure accurate fire while moving over rough terrain. They use a mix of LiDAR and visual recognition to map urban environments, with operators switching between direct remote control and semi-autonomous navigation where AI handles movement while humans decide when to engage. More recently, China's killer robot combatant, the QUGV Wolf, made a striking debut at the Zhuhai Air Show, demonstrating an eerie responsiveness to real-time voice commands. Footage captured the four-legged machine obeying orders like stand, sit, and move with unsettling precision, a glimpse into a future where robotic squads might operate alongside human soldiers as seamlessly as trained canines. Designed for rugged tactical deployment, the Wolf's quadrupedal structure provides stability across uneven terrain where wheeled or tracked vehicles falter. Its sand-colored exoskeleton suggests optimization for arid environments, while an array of forward-mounted sensors, likely including infrared and low-light cameras, enables 24-7 surveillance capabilities. Twin antennas hint at secure, long-range communications, allowing the robot to relay real-time battlefield data or receive remote commands even in GPS-denied environments. What elevates the Wolf beyond a simple reconnaissance drone is its modular payload system. The platform can integrate lightweight armaments, electronic warfare packages, or supply carriages, transforming it from a silent observer into an armed patrol unit. During demonstrations, a coordinated pack of four wolves navigated complex obstacles, including staircases, while two units showcased mounted weaponry revealing a deliberate focus on swarm tactics. The implications are profound. These robots could autonomously secure military installations, conduct forward reconnaissance in hostile urban environments, or even flank enemy positions as part of a synchronized assault.
Moving on, Blowfish A3 represents a quiet revolution in loitering munitions, literally. This electrically powered helicopter drone operates at just 45 decibels at 50 meters, making it virtually undetectable against urban background noise. Measuring 2 meters long with a 0.5 meter fuselage width, the compact design features a detachable tail section for easy transport, allowing rapid deployment from vehicles or small boats. The Blowfish A3's combat capabilities belie its modest size. Its 15 kilo payload capacity supports various weapon configurations, from 7.62 mm machine guns with 500 round capacities to laser guided 6 kilo bombs. The drone's most formidable feature is its autonomous targeting system, which combines visual recognition with radar tracking to identify and engage targets without human intervention. During field trials, Test units successfully engaged moving vehicle targets at ranges up to 3 kilometers while maintaining position in hover mode. Operational flexibility defines the Blowfish A3's design philosophy. The same platform that conducts armed reconnaissance by day can transform into a persistent surveillance asset by night, using thermal imaging to monitor enemy movements. Its 90-minute endurance and 150 kilometers operational radius make it ideal for coastal patrols or forward observation missions. Perhaps most significantly, the drone's mesh networking capability allows multiple units to coordinate attacks, with one designating targets for others to engage, a capability that could overwhelm traditional air defenses through coordinated swarm tactics. So where does this leave us? China's not just experimenting with autonomous weapons, they're building an entire robotic arsenal. And the scary part? We're only seeing the first generation of these systems. What happens when they get smarter, faster, more independent? What do you think? Are we heading toward a safer, more precise form of warfare? Or are we coding ourselves into a Terminator scenario? Comment below. And if you want to stay ahead of the curve on where military tech's headed next, hit that subscribe button. We're just getting started.